Uh, I'm Kevin, and I'm the founder and executive director of Elif International Service. It, uh, I grew up in Taiwan, and I founded Elif, a local social enterprise, in 2010 when I was 26 years old. This is my background, and uh, I graduated from National Taiwan University, and uh, two years later, I started Elif until now. The world has been changed. India has opened a bank only for a woman. If you have a rough concept of case system, you will know how difficult it is to have this kind of bank in India. The world has been changed. The founder of Calm Economy, he promoted a totally innovative way to make students learn. Today, millions of students in the world, in, the, in Taiwan, have adopted this new way of learning. The world has been changed. Last Saturday, we all surprised of the result of the election, right? No matter what party you support, but we have to admit that today we have consciously and we believe we are part of this country, so we can change the politics by voting. During the 90s, I personally experienced the internet revolution. After that, we can receive all kinds of information through the internet on a daily basis. I have a safe bet to say that half of the people here, including me, we check the mailbox, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, every 20 minutes, right? Some of you, maybe 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, someone, you laugh, right? <laughs> the change of our behavior transforms our mind and causes us to stop taking initiative. Gradually, we lose ability of sense and observe the things happening around us. In, when I was in college, I found myself in a similar situation. I did not like how I always ignoring things around me. So I started to look for a new attitude toward life. I think the best way to regain a more realistic life, the, a more realistic side of life is to experience it. And as a young man who grew up from Taiwan, I have a barely any overseas travel experiences. So I want to see the world outside of Taiwan. I want to see the world from my eye, not from internet. I also want to see the world, not the world we often talk about, the world we seldom talk about. I can remember every detail of my first international volunteer trip to Philippines. Six years ago, it took me a few months to organize a team and about 20 volunteers with passion and love. And the coolest thing is, half of the participants are from TAS. That trick inspired me. I found that international volunteers have some distinct value that differ itself from other type of tourism. So I started my own social enterprise, ELIF. ELIF helped Taiwanese young, young talent to go to other countries and participate in international service. At the first year, only 60 volunteers who take action in that early stage. We have five programs. The program we design is are based on the local need. Most of the programs are building houses. So someone said that we are um, Habitat for Humanity Taiwan version or Asia version. No. Five years later, guess how much volunteer, how many volunteers a year? So it's 50 times more than the first year we got. And we have more than 12 programs. We went to Mongolia, we went to India, Nepal, Cambodia. We went to Mongolia to plant a tree to prevent desertification. This is the photo we 
we took there. We went to Nepal to conduct a workshop with a local university student to figure out the solution of the eco problem. This is where we live. We went to Cambodia to build the houses for the local. It's not easy for me, for a Taiwanese, to scale up a social business, especially uh, overseas social business. But I'm very lucky to have the very great team. So we have, I have a great partner, I have a great core team, and uh, the founder of TEDx, TS, Yvonne. She went to Cambodia with me, and with her parents and brothers. I guess which one is Yvonne? Easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we went there to build a, a green orphanage um, together two years ago. And after that, she became our volunteer leader. And she led many different group of volunteers, especially this March. A group of volunteers all from TAS. So Yvonne is the one who passed on Elif's spirit to more newcomers. As I said, I found there are some distinct value that international volunteer could offer. Realization, participation, and uh, identification. Let's talk about realization. Most of the people think volunteer is the process of giving and donating. We give our time, we give our money, we give our skill to those who we never met. In some way, it is true, but actually being a volunteer is more than that. Volunteer learn many lessons through giving. Think, if your parents gave you a pen as your Christmas gift. What will you think? Will you smile like this girl on the photo? Were you so happy like her? I guess it's hard. So those who live in the local community in developing country, they have a completely different attitude toward life. So Gather together and hang out with them, talk with them. You always can learn some lessons from them. They have to deal with their life, their family, and even their future in the most tough condition possible. Then I want to talk about participation. Volunteering is about participating. Volunteers get to witness and learn how the world has become like this. And we will find we are the reason why the world has become shaping this way. The world has changed. As I mentioned, after uh, internet revolution, we are so connected with the world. But sadly, we are only connected with the richer part of the world. It's only when we put ourselves into a totally opposite setting and environment do we realize we are never connected to the other side of the world. For example, we are all alerted that the same storm coming in every spring in Taiwan. We are all alerted this bad for our health our brief. But as it's, it's, a, it's, it's an island, right? Taiwan is far from the desert, and uh, Taiwan is surrounded by the ocean. Even we have to alert the sandstorm. So what, what happened out there? How terrible it is, the 5,000 5, miles away in the desert. How, what happened there? So as a young talent, I believe we have to directly experience the real world is. So being there is the meaning of participating. 
the last part, also the third part, is identification. The world has been changed, so I'm very. I want to know uh, who I am and how do I position myself in the changing world. What courses I should take, what universities I should go, and what career I should choose. And after a few years, I found that the world has never stopped. So if I want to force myself fit in the always changing world, I will get lost and I will be burned out very easy. So we have to find another way to 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 know who I am and what 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 I want to do. So being a volunteer is force you to jump out of your comfort zone. So when there's no parents around me, how do I face my difficulties? If there are no close friends around me, how do I complete a program which need to cooperate with others? If there's no title, no tag on me, who am I? So, uh, two years later, a young volunteer, a girl who came to join our program, uh, not Yvonne. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, her aim is to be a school teacher, and she says she loves to love kids, and she loves all the kids in the world, and she joined our program. And uh, one day after, after a school program, and uh, we have we conduct some reflection session, and she said she she was feel bad and she cried out. And I said, why why do you feel bad? She said, cause uh, when when she was in the school, there is a five years old boy come to her, want to hug her, but she was hesitated because the boy is not very clean, and. She began to doubt herself. Why my love disappeared just because the boy is not that clean? So he doubt herself. And I believe the doubt and the fear that her experience gave her a chance to think deeper who she is and what she want, really want to do. So I encourage her to think more about her career. And a few days later, she said, she overcome her fear and the thought. She really want to be a teacher and with a greater love. So he, he, he overcome this, so he, he, she can hug the, 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 the kids around the school, and all in, all, no matter what the kid is. So, uh, the three points I want to share with you is realization, participation, and identification. So being a volunteer has some distinct values. So I, don't, I cannot say that I have the total solution of your life or my life, but I encourage you guys, I encourage myself to walk out of Taiwan to experience the real life and another side of the world. Thank you.